There are some weapons that you play for their raw strength and power. And there are some weapons that you have a irrational attachment to. And there are some weapons that you just play for the style. The Stradivar Prime is one such weapon. Hey guys, welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar, and today we're gonna be diving deeper into this primary weapon. As per the usual, I'm gonna have a cheap build, something affordable that most Tenno should be able to build, and a variation on that one. But of course, we also got the quote unquote end game set up with a crazy ribbon. That said, though, please keep in mind that my builds and guides usually take a new player friendly approach. I like to take my time and explain whatever I feel is necessary for more newer Tenno. So in case you're a vet and you already know most of this stuff, please, bear with me. And with that out of the way, let's jump into the Stradivar Prime. Let's begin by checking out how the weapon handles without any mods equipped. And for that, just a couple of free shots. The Stradivar Prime is a primary rifle with two fire modes, both of them being hit scan. In primary fire mode, this is your standard assault rifle affair. Automatic, hit scan, and the accuracy, well... Judge for yourself, this will be the 15 meter test. It's not really all that bad, all the bullets landing inside the crosshair, so if you want to use it as an automatic rifle, 100% go for it. Now the weapon does have one additional trick up its sleeve. If you hit the secondary fire mode, middle mouse button on PC, you switch from automatic to semi, take a look at the lower right hand side of the screen. And if you are familiar with the Kuva Hind or the Tiberon Prime, you should be familiar with this type of changing fire modes. In semi-automatic mode, you get quite the bit of a recoil. It kind of kicks like a mule. You see that? Up, right, up, right, or straight up, depending on the case. I don't know if it's a roll or something. I'm not entirely sure how that mechanic is implemented, but most of the time it goes to the upper right portion of the screen. Now, of course, that recoil isn't really all that bad, and it can be fixed with the weapon Exilus slot. This will be full rate of fire. And as you can see, it kind of hits the same point each and every single time, despite that recoil, because the recoil lines up perfectly to the weapon's fire rate. So bear that one in mind. One last thing that I do want to mention, take a look at the ammo. 90 by default, but in semi-automatic fashion, it does consume two ammo per shot. These bullets deal a whole lot more damage, but they don't it doesn't actually fire two bullets per se. Allow me to show you on the Corrupted Heavy Goons level 120. If those would be two bullets, you would get two numbers, but it's a single number every time. Okay? It just consumes two ammo for one bigger bullet, I guess. And that's enough about functionality. Let's check out the stats to see exactly what we're dealing with. Mod capacity, 60 out of 60. And if your comes with only 30 out of 30, jump into actions, plug in that Auto King Catalyst and double that mod capacity. Is it worth in 2021 currently to build a threat of our prime? And I'm gonna go with a yes if you enjoy the flair of the weapon and no if you just want the most powerful primary in Warframe. This is not one of the most powerful primaries, but it definitely has style if you know what I mean. Five for my and to mine, you don't need to format this many times. Honestly, this is not a forma heavy weapon. You can get away with something like free forma on the Stradivar Prime, depending on what kind of mod you have, if you got a Riven or not, etc. etc. Is it worth unlocking the weapon Plexilla slot or Exilla slot? And you know what? I'm gonna go with a no, and here's why I'm gonna go with a no. Normally this one by default comes with a V symbol or Madurai and the only realistic use for this one would be something like stabilizer, right? So you gotta unlock it and then you gotta format it as well or you can just plow on over it. It's really up to you. It doesn't really matter all that much but again I think the recoil is manageable and you don't need stabilizer. You don't need vigilante supplies. You don't really need much of anything. So you don't really need to unlock that one. Critical chance in primary fire mode 24% with a 2.66 critical multiplier, which is quite nice. In secondary fire mode, the semi automatic one is 30% with 2.8x, so quite the bigger critical stats. The accuracy is 25 on primary, and in secondary, it becomes a whole lot more accurate at 66.7. I would not use something like heavy caliber on this one. The accuracy might still be manageable in secondary, so if you want to go for secondary fire mode, sure, you can pair it up with heavy caliber if you so desire, but in primary, I wouldn't really do it. Allow me to show you the effects with split chamber and vigilante armaments. Quickly, quickly, the 15 meter test, which should be something like so. See that? Bullets outside across there, switching to semi-automatic. You see that? 
If you lose the accuracy on this weapon, I'm not entirely sure it's worth using anymore. So I would stay clear of heavy caliber. But again, it's entirely up to you. When it comes to fire rate, you're looking at 10 in automatic fashion and in secondary or semi-automatic only 3.33. Of course, the magazine of 90, but in secondary fire mode, you're effectively getting 45 shots. Uh, alarming, of course, reload of 2 seconds and the Riven Dispo, which is higher than I thought it would be at 3 out of 5. I'm honestly surprised that the weapon is as popular as it is. I was expecting at least 4. Status chance, 12% in automatic and in secondary or semi, 22%. Now let's talk about the damage layout. In automatic, you're looking at a total damage of 30 per bullet, and impact puncture slash are almost the exact same value, so it doesn't really matter all that much. In secondary, however, even though you are consuming two bullets, you're not getting 60 damage, you're getting 80 damage, right? So a whole lot more damage, and the highest amount is gonna be slash by quite the significant margin. It's almost like the developer wants us to use this secondary fire mode. And speaking about using it, let's check out a standard build, shall we? Damage with serration, multi-shot with split chamber, critical chance and critical damage between point strike, vital sense and of course hunter munitions has to be here since this is a primary critical build. 260-60 mods forming vital damage between malignant force and rhyme round. Stabilizer is here for the sake of having something in. If you're like me, you need to have something like plugged into everything, but you don't really need it again. The last slot is entirely up to you. Unfortunately, this is pretty much all the build variation you get, but this should not stop you from building the weapon into corrosive, or gas, even though those builds are simply not as powerful as they used to be, you can still enjoy your weapons the way you like to enjoy weapons. I'm simply showcasing what's a bit more effective. Now into this one, what was I saying? Yes, you can increase the slash value if you so desire. You can go to Fang Fusillade, something like this. And then you will be increasing the chance of slash to proc properly, even in primary fire mode. In secondary fire mode, you don't really need to go this far. But again, you will get slightly more slashes. You're going to be getting slashes from hunter munitions and, of course, from the weapon slash value as well, mixed in together with the status chance. But from my humble point of view, you can go like so. More multi-shot. You can never go wrong with more multi-shot. Vigilante armaments and 60%. And this would be a cheapo, cheapo setup. I got another alternative to this one, but let's just see what the weapon can do. And then we're gonna fix it. Quote unquote, fix it. Level 120, corrupted heavy goons as per the usual. Where'd they go? Hey, who took away my gunners? Corrupted heavy goons level, I think 8 are enough, right? Level 120. There we go. There we go. Somebody stole my goons. Who saw my goons? We're gonna, uh, gonna go automatic and then semi-automatic. Again, with any slash build the test is hit a target till about 50% then watch the slashes deal the damage and of course it is effective. Of course it is effective. In the sense that it works. It's not gonna be uber powerful, but as you can see, 11 slashes, 10 vital procs, what more do you want? But uh, of course you got a couple of impact procs as well, you got a couple of slash procs as well. It's gonna be a bit more efficient from this standpoint if you're gonna switch to automatic. Uh, semi-automatic so let's do that one two three four five six something like six to seven look at that depending on how lucky you are with r and jesus as long as we're not talking kuva rolls that is so ignore me so as you can see the weapon can be quite potent with just a couple of bullets into your target you can completely annihilate a high level corrupted heavy goon like so the build's okay I do have one variation on it. Do you guys enjoy Argon Scope? I had to scrounge and scrape my plat to buy an Argon Scope when it was very expensive. I think it was around 200 to 250 plat, something like that. But nowadays, Argon Scope is no longer hard to get or expensive. You can get it from Deimos. Just do a couple of bounties, you'll see the rewards and you'll know exactly what to choose. So let's give it a shot with Argon Scope. What does Argon Scope do? More crit. More crit, which will mean not only more damage, but of course more slashes from Hunter Munitions, because again, our chance to crit was not guaranteed up until this point. So Argan Scope it is, my friends. This is the other option I wanted to show you. And again, it is still on the cheap side. I can't believe I'm saying it, Argan Scope on the cheap side. But it is true, my friends. It is. Take a look at that crit. Yeah, it's better. Of course it is better. Of course it is better. What are you expecting it not to be better? It's a slash build. You're putting in more slashes. And more crits. More crits means more value bleed. Yes, yes, mama. Yes, yes, mama. Of course, of course. So yeah, go for Argon Scope over Vigilante Armaments in this particular case. Take a look at that. Orange. 
Orange, baby. You gotta love that orange. 14,000 slash on that one. Let me see, let me see. 8,000 slash on that one. Absolutely bloody fantastic. So there you have it, my friends. These would be standard builds. Now, I would show you Prime mods, but Prime what? Well, you do have an option for Prime something. Do you guys enjoy Fire Rate? Oh, come on. You gotta enjoy Fire Rate. Everybody loves Fire Rate, right? <laughs> Anybody? No? Okay, you gotta like Fire Raid. Fire Raid is fantastic. So you can go with Prime Shred. Prime Shred is an amazing mod. But the problem is, by the time you get this one, you're further along into your Warframe quote unquote career. So why don't we go for something a bit more mortal? Something that everybody has, right? Vile Acceleration with 90% and minus 15% damage. But just to, so I'm clear, if you got Prime Shred, just use Prime Shred and forget about it. But instead, we're gonna go with Vile Acceleration. One more time, the Corrupted Heavy Goons level 120, and then we're gonna go to a Riven. And you know what? Strat of our Riven's cheapo, not expensive at all. And go. <laughs> Come on, it's fun. <laughs> That's fun. That's just fun. I know I'm burning through my ammo. I don't care. Here, I have plenty of ammo. You want me to drop an? I'll drop another one. I don't care. Of course, in Steel Path, you can't spam pads. You can put one every minute or something like that. So we're that one. Take a look at that. That's beautiful. That is absolutely freaking fantastic. Semi-automatic. It feels better. Perhaps what is the best thing I should say about fire rate mods on a weapon such as this one, it makes the weapon feel better. And if it makes the weapon feel better, you should forget about stuff like deeps. How much deeps, how fast can it kill? It's not important. If it feels better, it feels better in Vida game. What else was there to say? Oh yes, Riven mods. Riven, this one is a from a friend. Thank you so much because I don't actually have a whole lot of actual good Riven. So Stradavar Sati Kritata. Kritata. You gotta gotta put the accent on the double A's like Pata. Uh, never mind. Critical chance, damage, multi-shot, and minus zoom. I mean, it would be hard. It would be very, very hard for this to be better. Can it be minus impact? I, I don't know. You guys let me know in the chat. Honestly, can this one be minus impact? And the individual who rolled this one put into 50 rolls. I got more rolls than that, but still you gotta expect, respect those 50 rolls. Critical chance is insane now, man. Insane. Almost, almost guaranteed with no Argon scope in primary and secondary fire mode 123.3. Absolutely bloody insane. One more time. Corrupted Heavy Goons, level 120. This bow free, so it does make quite the heavy impact, and again, these are not expensive ribbons for the Stradivar Prime. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and I'm a lot more ammo efficient now, since I'm not using a Vile Acceleration. Beautiful. Absolutely bloody fantastic. Now my friends, this just goes to show you, if you're passionate about a weapon, almost any weapon in Warframe, certainly any melee in Warframe, you can make it into a full-blown monster. So... I guess the advice I'm trying to project and failing. Oh wow, that was so. That was two bullets. That was two bullets. Will it kill it? No, two vitals, two stack. Yes, mama, kill it, kill it, mama. Yeah, good. One bullet. Oh my god, one bullet. Ten thousand. It's not gonna be enough. It's gonna stop at about twenty to thirty percent. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, I was wrong. It's about five percent almost, but no cigar. It can actually mathematically reach a one shot if the planets align. The planets did not align. That's the problem. I was saying something. What was I saying? Uh, oh yeah. Basically, the message which I'm trying to project, my friends, forget about a wannabe meta and just simply play what you like, what you enjoy, what you prefer. Let's say you want to play Nyx because she looks absolutely balls to the walls, amazing, but a threat of our prime because you like it. And that's the only reason you need to play anything in Warframe. Now, speaking about Warframe buffs... We were talking about what we weren't talking about. That's not important. Mirage Prime. I don't even need an excuse to show off my ever so lovely lady Mirage Prime. Now her buffs are quite potent, if I do say so myself. Corrosive projection, of course, against Grenier, against heavily armored targets. Not necessarily only Grenier is the way to go. Don't feel forced to go into this one. Pick whatever aura suits your fancy. Keep in mind, though, that Arcanes make a bigger impact. An Avenger from my humble point of view at least, is the most powerful offensive arcane in Framor. On damage, a 21% chance for plus 45% critical chance for 12 seconds. This is a bonus additive after effect, simply stacking on top of what you already have. It applies to your melee, secondary, and to your primary at the exact same time. I don't think it applies to your sentinel. Yeah, it shouldn't apply to your sentinel. It would be cool if it applies. I mean, sentinels are too powerful, right? They don't need a buff. Mm-hmm. 
As for your second arc key, normally this is where you plug in your Energize, your Armor, whatever your Warframe wants, but if you want double arcanes for offensive primary, you go with Rage, also from the third idol on down on Cetus, or from the trade chat, on headshot a 15% chance for a massive 180% damage to primary weapons for 24 seconds, which is absolutely glorious, my friends. Allow me to show you the glory of Mirage Prime right after I tell you about the Sentinel trick. You guys know the Sentinel trick? You probably know it, but I'm still gonna hammer it in. Pick up any Sentinel you want, my friends. Any Sentinel will do. Make sure the color matches, because if the color matches, the buff doesn't work. That's not actually true. But on your Sentinel's weapon, make sure you have all the Vigilante mods, armaments, offense, supplies, and fervor, because you will get that 20% chance to enhance critical hits from primary weapons, even if your little Sentinel dies and never comes back to life, you will retain said buff. So bear that one in mind. Doesn't the demand? It doesn't really fit the fashion, but it's gonna be good enough. We're also gonna be bumping up to 155. It wouldn't matter if it would be even higher than that. Unpause the target so they can hit me and I can get my buffs. That's because of the armor scaling changes at the start of 2020, if I remember right. What was I doing? Oh yes, Empower for Mirage and her fantastic free ability and my favorite animation in Warframe. One more time, Empower. And her ever so lovely... Close. That's just beautiful. That's just beautiful. Now I can go automatic if you guys want me to. Like that. Get my Tommy gun impersonation. Rack attack, tat attack. I love that good stuff. And essentially delete whatever stands before you. Now that's all well and good and quite subjectively fun. But what you can also do is switch to semi-automatic and try to get that ever so elusive headshot. Of course, it should be easy. One shot if I manage to get the hit right. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely freaking. I think a clone hit that. I think that was almost a one shot from the brute strength of the... Look at that. That was beautiful. I should make a gif out of that. Should make a gif out of that. Are they dead? See, that's the problem with corrupted heavy goons. They don't make them as sturdy as they used to. Now, for some conclusions regarding the Stradivar Prime. <sighs> well... I kind of spared you guys the hassle from the start. It's not one of the most powerful weapons in Warframe. It doesn't intend to be one of the most powerful weapons in Warframe. It's not even one of the most original weapons in Warframe. I mean, it's an assault rifle for crying out loud. But you know what? I think there's something special in the style of the Stradivar Prime. And you should definitely farm and build this one. If you enjoy a Tommy Gun experience. If you know what I mean. As always, my name is Malazar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And if you got any sorts of feedback for me, by all means, my friends, drop it in the comment section down below. Also in the comment section down below if you want to suggest any particular type of content. Now, in all honesty, I can exactly promise you that it'll be done by next time or even within a week because these things sometimes take a while to make. But what I can promise you is I will be reading for each and every And if you love the content, consider supporting us via Patreon. Link in the cards right now. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.